I've come to a chilly Sweden uh, to test the new design from Herbal Grassy, the 44. The 44 is actually something quite new for the Herbal Grassy brand, something we haven't seen before. The design lines are not classic to what we would expect. There's a blunt bow, integral bow sprit and bow roller and then she carries beam all the way aft to a wide transom and for the first time Herbal Grassy have got twin rudders. We've got a couple of days sailing and living aboard plan so that I can experience every aspect of this boat and find out whether it's a new how grassy or something that we might expect from them in the past. Below decks, this boat is classic Halbergrassi. The saloon is flooded with natural light from a good number of hatches, windows, and even two little windows that are in the top sides. This makes it a really light and airy place to be, but also I found it gives you a great connection with the world outside if you're sitting at anchor having your lunch or something like that. Aft, the owner's cabin takes up the full beam of the boat uh, which makes it spacious and gives plenty of room for storage and just sitting down and chilling out. There is an ensuite heads and shower room, and the version I tested had this big island bed, which, when in harbour or at anchor, is incredibly comfortable, however, it's not really a sea berth. The well laid out corridor galley offers full standing headroom and a good place to wedge yourself when you're at sea with surfaces to work on on three sides and all of the conveniences in here the fridge the freezer the cooker the microwave the dishwasher all within easy reach as you walk through the Halbergrassi 44 there are no shortage of beautifully made grab rails and handholds these two bunks are in a corridor cabin that joins the saloon and the forward cabin with the heads on the opposite side. They're very much for visitors, there is a small amount of storage that comes with them but they would also make great sea berths. The V berth in the fore cabin makes great guest accommodation, there's plenty of room to stand up and move around and storage as well. The bow thruster can be found underneath this bunk and I was surprised by just how quiet it is, it really doesn't make a lot of noise at all. And this is where also there's a half height watertight bulkhead. As standard the saloon comes with a long settee on the starboard side which will fold up into a great sea berth. There is also an option to have double armchairs in this space. The forward heads is spacious and also where the washing machine can be found if you choose that option. 
the engine room is big enough to house a generator comfortably if that was in the specification and most of the other boats utilities come into this area they're all mounted separately so they can be serviced or replaced with ease and everything very well labelled the steering position is raised in the back of the centre cockpit which gives you a great view of the bow and both quarters when handling under power The test boat could pretty much be entirely operated from behind the wheel with electric, roller furling, in-mast furling, cockpit winches, remote control for the anchor windlass and a road counter, as well as a bow thruster and stern thruster. For me, it was a great lesson in effortless sailing. So we've come to the end of this Yachting World test of the Halver Grassy 44, and it's the most complete review that I've ever been able to do because uh, we've been away for so long I've had a chance to look around the factory we've sailed in varying conditions reefed full sail tacking jibing uh, we've eaten on board anchored handled under power spent the night on board eaten some more and I think because I've spent so much time on the boat and also I've been able to spend time with Magnus Rassi I've learned a lot about how Grassi what they stand for and how this boat has come to be. Um, I think the one thing that really springs to mind to start off with about my whole experience is effortless. And by effortless, I don't mean joyless. I mean that we've been able to go out in some quite challenging conditions because it has been pretty cold and not that nice to be outside. And yet we've still been to some remote and beautiful places um, and the boats just looked after us all the way. We've been sailing but without the physical nastiness of it. Um, one thing that's very clear is that uh, this boat is an evolution. And when you buy a boat from a company like Harbour Grassy, you're buying into their learnings from the past. And the whole thing about evolution is that you keep the good bits and the good bits get better and then the bits that don't work so well get changed over time and I think the 44 is an excellent example for that. 